G'day ladies and gentlemen, this is Lemon Eating Cow and today we're going to start a new series on a game by Bandai Namco or well it's published uh, I think published by uh, Bandai Namco and this game is Little Nightmares uh, I've seen only a little bit of this game uh, the artwork just looks fantastic and the atmosphere looks really good uh, I guess it's a like a puzzle platformer is probably the best way you can describe it if you're not really into those games just try and give it a chance like it it looks fantastic there's not much uh, narrative behind it but the you kind of learn the story through the visuals and the way you play the game but uh i've only played a little bit of this game maybe about half an hour an hour of it so i'm gonna start again from the start uh and um yeah we'll go through it together but what I've played so far, I just, I absolutely love it. I think it's just fantastic. But anyway, let us get into it. And yes, I'll override my old save slot. But yeah, as far as audio goes and uh, speech and reading, there's pretty much none of it that I've seen so far. It's all about, uh, it's like a visual narrative, really. Just presented so, so well. I just, I really love this game. It's great. It it only loads in between the um between the chapters, but otherwise it's it's really good. Looking like a Japanese woman in a kimono, maybe? A bloody freaky one at that. So this is our character. Uh, I don't I don't actually know a name, but I think I've read that is, it is six. But yeah, I think we're a little girl, it looks like, possibly. Uh, and just cool little rain slicker here. It just... Uh, I, I don't... I guess it's just because of the yellow rain slick, but I was totally reminded of Georgie. Is it Georgie? Yeah, I think it's Georgie from uh, the beginning of It, who reaches into the drain and uh, yeah, loses something in the process. <laughs> but uh, just this game feels amazing. Just everything about it is just so well done. So we can jump and I think we can run with the square button. Circle is we can pull out a little... Uh, Zippo lighter that we got. I don't think triangle does anything. And we can also grab onto stuff with uh, R2. I think that's about it. Oh yeah, L2 is uh, to crouch. But otherwise... Ooh, what's that up there? Is that something? I think it's nothing. I think it's a can. Anyway, you can pick object objects up. Otherwise, there's no like combat at all. It's all just like fleeing from enemies and kind of just puzzle solving really the puzzles generally aren't that hard but yeah they're they're pretty cool nonetheless you have to light these little uh these little lanterns along the way i don't really i think they're like a checkpoint as far as i can tell but i really haven't played that far to, to test it out but the use of lighting in this game is just oh, it is so good man i just oh, i love it it's great it's really good I really gotta stop saying man. I call my wife man all the time and she she's not a fan of it at all. <laughs> but there's just there's hardly any music in this game, but it's just the uh what do you call it? The like the environment and the uh background noises and the you can hear now like the rain kind of trickling down or a patter of the rain it just it's so well done and like visuals like this i i absolutely adore it i i really love this game i don't know i guess it i guess it has to be a type of game though i guess so there's these little statues around here and it looks like uh the woman from the opening sequence but i don't really know what they do you can uh break them though if you press x when you're holding them and we get a little uh, 
noise and a loading symbol down the bottom or a saving one. So I'm guessing they're pretty important. I just don't know what for yet. <laughs> it's just, it's great. Well, I still haven't figured out what's going on in the whole story, but it's just, I really enjoy it. See if there's anything under the bed here? No. Some weird chair hanging off the roof for some reason. This is... Some dude hung himself? It's just... It's really odd. It's pretty macabre at some point, so... Poor dude. Well, who knows what he did. He could be uh, trying to atone for his sins for all we know. Um, I think this bit, you have to drag the... You can drag things as well if you hold uh, R2 on them. And you can also, I think we can push it around as well. Yeah, but we won't do that. That'll make it harder to grip onto the door there. Oop, keep on pressing the wrong button. Oh, I just... The sense of size that it gives you, you really feel tiny. It's just, it's great. It's so well done. Get some black ass goop on the ground here. Yeah, it's it's pretty disturbing too. It's it's really yeah. It's just you're gonna hear me say it heaps, but it's so well done. Oh, we just had a little gnome run off there. Oh, I did not know this last time. Know me? Oh, there he is. We'll give him a little hug. These are, again, I think they're kind of collectible-y type of thing. <laughs> He's warming his hand by the little thingy there. What a champion. So again, we get a little uh, confirmation sound when you pick them up and hug them. But I, I don't... I don't really know what it does at this point. Maybe it's like a collectible and it unlocks something at the end, possibly, but I really don't know. Kind of reminds me of the pyramid heads of... Um, Silent Hill though, so <laughs> I don't know whether to be cheering from them, for them or kind of disturbed. Alright, so we'll push on. Uh, I think I go up here? Looks like there's some uh, shoes in the fridge. Where else would you put them? Where do we go here? I'll take a run. Whoop. Okay. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I am too far. I am so used to playing... Um, what is that game called? Final Fantasy XV. I just... It ruins me for buttons. It totally ruins me. Anyway, this time... Oh, shit. There was a leech dropped from the roof. These things are horrible if they get a hold of you. It's just... Ugh. Disgusting, man. Just leeches just creep the crap out of me. I know they can't do that much damage to you, but oh, they're just disgusting. Parasites, man. I, I haven't had a leech on me before, but I've had uh, some bush ticks on me, which were just ugh, disgusting. Just horrible things. Alright, there's some more there, so we won't mess with them this time. Hurry up. Some papers on the ground there. Alright, what do we do here? Um, can we pull this off? Yeah. Okay, cool. There we go. Blip. The little gnome fella. I think they're good guys. I hope they're good guys, because they're kind of cute. You know. Oh, shit. <laughs> I totally... I, I don't know if I've even got this far before. Oh, far out. No, I definitely haven't been here before. That... Ugh. No! Oh. See, just... Ugh. Disgusting things, man. I mean, people. Viewers. Listeners. I don't know. i got to stop saying man. <laughs> oh, they're just so... If we even touch one where it's game over basically whoop get the hell out of there oh man no thank you it's actually pretty common to find leeches here in australia in the bush 
you just walking through and you find them on your socks and things like that, but never actually have one attach. I guess this is a kind of mature game. Oh shit. Oh, it's a little gnome dude. So, I'll tell you the story of my ticks. Ticks are, we have cattle ticks over here, or bush ticks, I think they call them. They're just like little, they kind of look like spiders, but they, they grab onto you and when they start sucking their blood, they get the, their abdomen kind of swells up with blood and they turn like a yucky purple black and just kind of sit on your, uh, your skin. And if you don't pull their head off properly, they just kind of, if you just pull off their backs, they kind of just keep on eating and it gets all infected and it's just blech, not a, not a good thing. So I actually had an experience where I stayed out at a mate's one time and we were all having a barbecue out the back and we cut a little bit out of the grass and we all sat around in deck chairs in the grass and listened to music and stuff. Uh, and I was actually peeing in the bush quite often and it was a beautiful scene looking out over flowers and bees and stuff. So I'd sit there and pee for quite a while just kind of admiring the view. And I got home that night and I found ticks all over my junk. So, like, well, not all over, like two of them. So, yeah, not, not a great experience. Anyway, that is my tick story. <laughs> I'm sure you all appreciated hearing that. Oh, did I make it? What? God damn. I totally made that. That'll teach me for telling tick stories, I guess. But model moral of the story is, if you're going to pee in the bush in Australia, just do it quickly. <laughs> Don't dilly-dally. Alright, anyway. Uh, yeah, hold square to sprint. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that one, mate. There we go. I reckon I can make it. Slide. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I think I can... Can I open this cover? Oh, little gnomey dude. Can I open it again? No. All right. We'll go give this gnomey dude a hug if we can find him. Blip. Or is he up there? I don't want to miss out on them. I think it's kind of like a whole collectible thing, so I don't really want to miss out on anything. Uh, maybe he went up here. I think he went through the doorway though. Oh, what's this? Can I pick it up? Oh. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could do that. That's awesome. <laughs> cool. So, a little paper aeroplane. Uh, we'll take it with us. Maybe we can do something with it. Probably not though. Oh. Can I chuck it up the edge? Maybe it's an achievement or something. Here we go. Ooh. Actually, I really don't like the sound of that. What is that? Something walking up above? I don't know. Oh, it's it's great. The sound design's really good in this, but the lighting above all else is just really, really well done. Oh, there we got another little checkpointy thing, I think. Oh, light him up. There we go. Ooh, rats. Yummy, yummy rats. I'd prefer rats to leeches anyway. Even though they're full of disease and stuff, like common rats, but... Uh, what's going on here? Anything behind the door? Push. Ooh, a lever. Can we... Ooh, maybe we'll... Yep. Get the poopy paper over there and jump up on that. There you go. Go, son! Oh, okay. Through here, I guess. Oh, there's some type of seesaw thingy there. Some swings. Alright, can we... 
Do we need the seesaw for something? Ooh. Be good. Yeah, we'll wait until that light comes back on. Okay, so we can get back through there. Looks like there's a music box. Kids' little handprints on everything. Some swigs. Swings, rather. Can we make them... No, I, th I thought we could kind of make them go back and forth. What's up there? I wonder. It doesn't look like we can affect the swing of this all that much. Oh, can we get up? No, a bit too high. Okay, so there's a train. I wonder if it'll kill us, if it'll hit us. I'll try out. Oh, oh <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> Poor little thing, derailed it. Alright, is there anything on here? Oh, there's a block on here. That's about... Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, so that gate is electrified. So I guess we have to hit the switch and then run all the way across here? Maybe that's it? Can we pull these drawers out? No. Oh! That one. How about the next? No. Alright, can we get up there? No, I can't get up there. It doesn't look like there's anything up there anyway. No, I guess some more toys. Alright, so we will... Oh, dude, what's that? Gross, that's not a very nice toy for a kid to have. So we'll go back through here, we'll hit that switch, and we'll try and run all the way to the next door. I think we'll have enough time. Because that next room was pretty dark for a while, so... Yeah, you can hear the time ticking down there. Go! Go, little miss! So the puzzles seem pretty straightforward at the moment. I'm thinking they'll probably get a bit harder as we go on. Can we open any of these? No, it didn't look like it. Can't grab onto them either. No, they got, they got like deadlocks on them anyway. What does that say? No, that's just a little symbol there. But yeah, otherwise I haven't really picked up like the, what the story is yet. I don't really know. Oh, oh shit. What, what is that? Searchlight. Okay. Oh. All right. I'm not going to even see what happens if we get caught in it. <laughs> I guess we'll not get caught in it. Hopefully. I'm guessing some... I don't know. We haven't seen anyone though, so I don't know what type of guard would come out if there is one. Ooh. Can I make it there? I think so. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Uh... Ooh, there's a little gnome dude there. Okay, oh, I see kind of ladder here. I guess we can use this as like a lattice type of ladder. Lattice ladder? That'll do. And we want to get across to this little gnome dude over there. So we'll run down here. Blip. Oh, come back little dude. I want to give you a hug. Get some music. Aw. Is that a picture of his family or something? He needs a hug. I'll get him some warmth first. You gonna warm your hand? <laughs> you can see his little bum bum cheeks there. Let's give him a hug. Everything's gonna be alright, mate. You're alright. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here, though. See you, mate. And we'll keep heading up. It looks like there's another, another way we can go up the top as well. Oh, shit. I gotta be careful. If you if you jump a little bit too far, you, you die, so. Okay, so. Is that door open there? Yeah? Mm, I don't like the look of that room. <laughs> I'm gonna go left first, see what's over here. Do, 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 do. What is over here? 
Maybe, can we do something with those blocks or... Oh, there's another statuey thing. Chuck you. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't like the look of that. Gross. Maybe there's going to be more leeches around here. Oh. <laughs> so, it doesn't look like there's much here. Maybe behind the door. Gonna push the door. No? Alright. No, it doesn't look like you can push the door anymore. Alright, so this eye... It looks like there's been kids here before as well. Or maybe those little gnomes, I don't know. None of these doors look like we can go in it. <sighs> so I guess we've got no choice but to go to the right, which doesn't look very inviting at all. Yeah, well, okay, let's give it a go. We're just gonna take the bolt. Oh, holy fucking, what is, oh, what a time to get a low battery. <laughs> what is that? Gross, man. What is with his head? Oh, does he know we're here? Oh, dude, that is, um, Jesus, I'm out of here. Ugh, that's gross. What a disgusting dude. And I think I've said disgusting like a, a hundred times already. Okay, is he following? Did he hear us? No, I think we're good. Is there anything else in this room though? Oh, that dude's creepy as man. Those long, those long arms and that like wrinkle face thing that he's got going on. Lich. Oh, actually. Sorry about this, <laughs> but my controller is about to run out of batteries, so I just gotta hook that one up. Professional YouTuber here, folks, just uh, just relax. <laughs> oh, what is that guy? I kind of, I kind of want to go back and look at him more. <laughs> the creepy long arm dude. It's kind of like um, I don't know if any everyone can relate to this, but sometimes you get a bruise. And it kind of hurts to it when you touch it, but you kind of it kind of feels good at the same time. So you kind of poke it a little bit, and it's that kind of mix of bad and good. That's that's kind of like what I want to be seeing with that dude. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, we got a tummy pain. Can we lift this little thing up? Can you lift the hatch there? No, it looks like we've only got use of one hand at the moment. What is that? Oh, it's happening again. Oh, it sounds like uh, hunger pains or something. Poor little six. Oh, what's this? Is that a kid? Oh, poor little girl. I think it's a girl. It's kind of effeminate legs, or maybe it's just a really, really malnourished little boy. Oh, nice. Thanks, dude. I hope. It's not poisoned or anything, is it? Man, we're eating like a zombie or something. <laughs> well, that was nice of him. Although maybe now he's got nothing to eat. Can we say thank you to him? Thanks, mate. Oh, he looks pretty lonely as well. Poor little dude. Oh, man, that's... Ugh. Straight after seeing a lonely little kid like that, you see a noose. That's a bad associative imagery, I guess. I don't even know if that's a thing, but I'm calling it a thing now. Oh, I don't like the look of this. I do not like the look of this. It's got me thinking of... um. Uh, it kind of like, en well, not like Ender's Game, but in the book Ender's Game, there's a shower scene with a guy named Bonzo, and yeah, it's associated with the mess hall as well, with the uh, where they all go to eat food, and the lonely kid in the mess hall by himself kind of makes me think of Ender, so yeah, probably an obscure reference or a connection, but yeah, that's where my mind went. Okay, so we got ladder thingies that we can climb here. Shit. 
I don't know if that's going to break and fall, but... Ah, there's something up here. Alright. The platforming kind of... Yet, not at all. I, it just makes me think of Prince of Persia for some reason. Yet, like, not at all. Uh, I don't know. Weird frame of mind. <laughs> okay. Well, where can we jump to here? In the back there? No. How about... Oh, we can climb the chain. Alright. Ah, actually. Um, I saw PewDiePie do this. <laughs> So, I'm going to cheat. I know he goes up too far and he jumped down and killed himself and then I was like, alright mate, I'm not I'm not continuing to watch this stream, but... Oh, there we go. There's a ladder there. Can we do anything with the ladder? Can we climb the ladder? Alright, I don't think there's any point to the ladder, but... Oh. Okay, we can get up here anyway. Big switch there. Alright, we'll hit the one on the wall first and see what that does. And we'll use the uh, the hot dog one, it looks like. <laughs> does it go both ways? Yeah. Okay. How do we... How do we activate it, then jump on that? Okay, we'll take the bolt, I guess. Just do it real quick. Go! Oh, dude! That's like some Indiana Jones stuff. Okay, we can climb up here. Not... Oh! What did she... Re oh! <laughs> I let go of the button for a second. Okay. Uh, we'll jump off here. Yep. We haven't seen a little gnome dude around recently. I wonder if I missed out on one. Probably. It's pretty likely I'm going to miss out on a lot of stuff. Alright, we have to get up to that switch. Maybe we can use these cabinets. Uh, that one's jammed. What about this? There we go. Flip. What about the next one? Alright, I'll just pull him out a little bit. Oh. No, don't push it back in. And then, whoop. Bam. Alright. Oh no. That is not a good thing. You don't want to be in the dark. Alright, what else is around here? Anything here? No. Okay. Any little gnomey dudes? Was there something in there? Oh, it's a gnomey dude. Let's save him. Like that one first. Come on, know me, dude. Yeah. Oh, where's he going? Come back. I want to give him a hug. Where did he go? Oh, there he goes. Give you a hug, little mate. Meow. Wonder if it unlocks anything. Maybe we can wear their costume later on. <laughs> Okay, so I think I did what I needed to do there. I'll push this thingy down. Hurry! Oh shit. Oh, I was just about to say, hopefully it's not a noose. Is that the noose that we saw before with the kid? Afterwards, I said the uh, the lonely kid and then the noose. Oh shit, I thought I missed that. <laughs> Cute little dangly legs there. Can we swing it? Can you swing it? Oh, there's a little hatch thing. Yeah, this seems familiar, actually. This is looks like where the little cafeteria thing was before. Yeah. Oh, far out. Well, okay. So why are we back here, then? What have we achieved? Not much, I don't think. We didn't open up any new doorways or anything like that, did we? Oh. We made friggin' leeches come here. Do not want... Oh, blech. Little bastards. Alright, what's going on here? Ah, we cut the power, so this was electrified before. 
So now we can get through here, which is good. Um, Actually, I think this is a pretty good place to call this episode. It's been going for about half an hour now. I think this is a fairly short game, I would imagine. it's It only costs about $20, so I couldn't imagine it going too long. So I'll probably keep the episodes to about half an hour. Anyway, um, I'm in a bit of a weird mood, so sorry if the, uh, the narration was a bit off, but... Yeah, I, I absolutely love the look of this game. It's just, it's so appealing to me. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. If you are, please leave a thumbs up. If you got any comments or suggestions or you just want to tell me what you think of the game or maybe you've finished it already, uh, no spoilers if you could, just tell me what you think. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Mm -hmm.